Hello everyone. With the release of version 15.30, there have been several significant improvements to the Caseon program. Caseon now has the ability to run the analysis for multiple load cases at the same time. You can also switch between design and analysis mode to have Caseon either determine the size of the foundation to support the loads, or check to see if a particular Caseon dimension can support the applied loads. It also uses a soil strength factor now instead of an overall safety factor, and now includes a bearing capacity check. And additionally, some of the graphics have been improved, making them easier to see and understand. Let's take a look at some of the new capabilities, and let's start by looking at the ability to analyze multiple load cases. I'm going to open up one of the example projects that ships with the software called ASCE.CAI. Right off the bat, you'll see the menu items are different. We now have a design menu instead of a data menu. When I click on the design menu, I see the new redesign dialog for inputting all of the data. This combines the design information, soil information, and the loads all in one simple dialog. If we click on this tab here, we can see that we now have the ability to enter multiple load cases and have Caseon design the foundation to meet the requirements for each of them. This makes it very easy to simply copy paste the foundation design loads from the PLS pole analysis into this table and design the foundation. Also note how in this table there is a soil strength factor instead of a safety factor. The input used in the soil layers tab is still the same. You can enter a zero in the strength column to eliminate the cohesive layer strength and enter a negative 90 to eliminate the strength of a sand layer. Up in this portion here you'll see the remaining input needed for designing or analyzing a foundation. In the geometry portion, notice how there's a grayed out field for embedment depth that says designed. When you have a diameter value input and the embedded depth is blank, it will show like this indicating that Caseon will design the depth needed to support the loads. You could put a value in for the embedded depth to check an existing design to see if it is adequate. We refer to this as analysis mode as opposed to design mode. You can also now type in an embedded length and clear out the diameter field to have Caseon calculate the needed diameter for a specified embedment length. And Caseon also now gives you control over the increment intervals for depth and diameter. Very handy if you're looking for depths or diameters at an even one foot interval. Also note that you can specify the amount of steel to use to see if it is adequate or leave the field blank to have Caseon determine it for you. And over here we have a new input field called bearing transfer distance that is utilized as a threshold for having an embedment depth be in such close proximity to a layer of soil below it that you'd want the bearing capacity to be based on that layer instead of the one it actually falls in. And lastly, notice how when you select the checkbox for direct embedded pole, it grays out the unneeded inputs. After you've configured the inputs, you can run the analysis by going here. In the graphical output, you'll notice some slight changes like the shear and moment diagrams are combined and the text and coloring is refreshed to make it easier to see on a white or black background. In the analysis output, you'll notice the first thing is an echo of all the inputs and options selected. Then in the analysis results portion, you'll see the details of each load case, including the appropriate design for each case, along with a new status column on the right. This will provide feedback if a design solution couldn't be found, or if you use the analysis mode and the pier wasn't sufficient to hold the loads. And the rest of the report has all the same sections that the previous versions did. We hope that you find these new features and improvements in Caseon help you with your projects. Thank you for watching and your interest in our software. If you'd like more information about our software, please see our website at www.powline.com. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at If you'd like to receive a quote to purchase or renew your license, please contact us at sales at powline.com. And for any technical questions, please contact us at support at powline.com. Thank you for watching and your interest in our software, the industry standard in overhead line design.